our workshop has two problems. We don't have enough storage space for our tools and our white walls look and feel empty. To fix it we could make a traditional French cleat wall or tool station we had designed a while ago. Or we could cut the standard size plywood sheets into smaller ones and use our CNC router to make a storage wall and workshop decor two in one. You see, our goal with this project is to make a pegboard storage wall that's not only spacious and practical, but also looks astonishing. And that's not an easy goal to reach. In attempt to achieve that, I laid the holes on the pegboard in rectangular pattern. And to make the pegboard panels feel more like a part of a workshop environment, I made the hole cuts in the same shape as the crosshead screws. This was a nice little detail that also added something to the functionality of the wall panel. Now it didn't matter if we installed the panels to the wall vertically or horizontally, we would still be able to attach all of the accessories. However, before we attached the pegboard panel to the wall, we had to trim its edges on the router table and cut a couple of spacers on the CNC. I made the spacers using an 18mm thick offcut. It meant the distance between the wall and the panel would be big enough for the attachment hooks. To install the pegboard panel to the wall, I first attached one of the top corners. Then I used the bubble level to ensure the panels was positioned properly and attached the other corners to the wall. The panel looked fantastic, so I cut another one and attached it right next to the first one. Again, I used the leveling tool. This time to ensure the top edges were at the same height. Now the pegboard panels were in place and we could make the attachments. Designing the attachments was simple yet challenging. Let me explain. On the one hand I could make custom size and shape shelves, drawers, boxes and other storage solutions that are attachable to the pegboard panel. So far so good. On the other hand all the attachments had to be a certain size to align with the cuts in the pegboard and the 125mm distance between the holes set some limitations and attachment dimensions. For simple solutions like shelves it didn't matter much. I could easily make a wider shelf by extending the shelf panel by 125mm creating multiple shelf size options. However, when building bigger and more complex attachments like the cabinet we are assembling right now, dimensional restrictions had a huge impact on the attachment proportions. If I designed the cabinet too tall or too wide it would look bulky. And if it was too narrow, the sliding doors would look horrendous and we wouldn't be able to fit anything in the cabinet. Even smaller items like the components for the paint shelf. When designing the attachments, I wanted to keep them as simple as possible. The goal was to have the bare minimum amount of components per each pegboard feature. For example, the cordless drill stand had only six components, two shelves, a rack with a separator wall for the drills and the side components. Of course the attachments like drawer cabinets required way more parts, mainly because of the drawers. I could make the cabinet frame out of four simple pieces and use some of my plywood offcuts to cut the parts for the drawers. To make the drawers look like a part of the pegboard wall, I made crosshead screw shaped holes in the drawer front panels. These will serve as drawer handles. The bottom drawer was just a simple box, however the sliding drawers had extended floor panels which would fit in the grooves of the cabinet's side components. I had to have an attachment for storing and sorting my screws, dowels and other small items. For that small boxes would be perfect, but I didn't want to have small attachments scattered all across the pegboard panel, so I made a bigger box that would have enough room for six of the smaller sorting boxes. The large box had to have a lid to prevent dust from collecting in the screw boxes. To make the small boxes, again I used some of the plywood offcuts from our material storage stand. When cutting the components on the CNC router, I made a horrible mistake that ruined half of the small box components. I thought it would be faster to make the parts if I didn't use the support tabs to secure the components on the CNC table. Since the plywood was only 3mm thick, this wasn't the best strategy. The components moved during the cuts and the result was terrible. Some of the joints were messed up and there were little marks left by the router bit on many of the components. So I was left only with 3 out of 6 boxes. At this point I was running out of space on the pegboard panels. I had just enough room to attach two simple hooks. But the good news is, 
In the future, I could attach more pegboard panels next to the ones we made today. This way we would have more space for other attachments like screwdriver racks, paper tower holders, racks for the clamps and chisels, a spray paint storage unit and other solutions that might be useful. But before we get too carried away about the possibilities the pegboard panel brings, we have to find a place to store our tools. The cordless drill, chargers and the batteries, the circular saw, noise cancelling earmuffs, the orbital sander and its sandpapers, our hand plane, chisels, paint and glue bottles, the mallet, the small items like screws and dowels, and of course the measuring tape. Now when working on our upcoming projects, all the necessary tools will be at arm's reach, making the crafting process more enjoyable and efficient. And the cool thing is, if we get tired of the attachment layout, we could rearrange the features, remove the ones we no longer need, and attach new ones. If you have a good recommendation on the attachments we have to make for the pegboard panel, please leave your suggestions in the comment section. It would be great to have more attachments to choose from when adding the next pegboard wall panel. Also, you will have the access to all of the pegboard attachment DXF files at aribobox.com. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next Aribobox workshop episode.